Welcome to Mirror University. I'm your host, AJ, and today we're here to talk to you about CBRN, or CBRN. CBRN, or CBRN, stands for Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear. Chemical threats are chemicals that are toxic to humans, such as sarin gas or other nerve agents. Biological threats come in the form of bacteria, viruses, fungus, or mold. Radiological threats usually come in the form of something like a dirty bomb. A dirty bomb is a device that is used to spread radioactive material amongst a population, causing mass disruption. As you can see, close-in fallout is our real problem in radiological defense. And the problem becomes even more complicated because the speed, range, and direction of fallout depend upon ever-changing wind and weather conditions. And finally, nuclear threats can come in the form of a nuclear warhead, a bomb, or something as simple as a nuclear reactor. CBRN threats are designed to cause mass disruption as opposed to mass destruction. They do this by being spread widely through various mediums. The difficulty encountering them is that they are also easily spread from one individual to another through mediums such as physical touch, water, and food. In order to counter them, we require special gear. Since the particles are small, they remain in the air for weeks, covering many thousands of square miles. Sometimes they are driven to earth by rain or snow. Delayed fallout is composed of very small particles that may drift completely around the Earth several times and may not descend for months or years. The Seaburn threats we need to be worried about are not just those that might bring about World War III. A lot of them can also be localized, sometimes just in our backyard. For example, the Ohio train derailment unleashed vinyl chloride amongst the local population, causing mass disruption. For biological, we don't have to look any further than COVID, which disrupted the United States and the globe. And for anyone living on the East Coast that's near a nuclear reactor, we're in danger of a radiological threat every time an alarm goes off. Not to be outdone, nuclear threats don't always come in the form of an ICBM. They can come in the threat of a small dirty bomb concealed inside of a cardboard box or a briefcase and hidden just about anywhere. These are some of the items you'll want to have on hand to counter any seabird threat that you may encounter. Here we have a simple Geiger meter. This is going to help you identify any increased radiation around your home and let you know if it's safe to go outside. Next up, we have the two most essential items that you're gonna to need to evade and counter any seaburn threat. Here we have a filter and here we have a gas mask. First and foremost, this is the CM6M. Gas masks provide a good seal against your face. When used properly, they're gonna prevent any kind of seaburn agent from making it inside of your body, and it's gonna allow you to breathe easy. However, a gas mask alone is not going to protect you entirely. What we need is a filter. This is the MBC 77. This is going to filter out any CBRN threats that may be in your area. So, quite simple to use, filter to mask. These are 40 millimeter NATO threads. They are standard, and once we have them completed, we now have a fully effective gas mask. Taking a closer look at the MBC 77 filter, we can see here your N stands for nuclear, B for biological, and C for chemical. So you can rest assured that you are covered from any and all threats that you might encounter. And last, but certainly not least, we have our HAZ suit. Our skin is the biggest organ on the body, thus one of the biggest vectors for seaburn threats to attack and get to us. So we need to make sure that we're covering that skin up. This has suit right here also includes a hood to further seal up all of your skin around your gas mask and ensure that we are protected. Over 19,000 disasters strike somewhere in our country every year. That's more than 50 disasters every day. The protective actions you take today would not be wasted if a nuclear attack did not occur. Experience tells us that these actions save many lives in natural disasters and other emergencies. The surest way to invite disaster is to do nothing to avoid it. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure to share, subscribe, and click your notification bell. And until next time, stay savvy, survivalists.